Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 25. Before we head out, let's go ahead and spend this one skill point that we have. I'm going to go into Better Barter Level 2 because we are going to see some traders today. The first trader we're going to go see is Rick out in the desert. Then we're going to go see Jen who is also out in the desert. Then we are headed back to the town we were in in the last episode, the one with the hospital in it. As I was leaving that town, I spotted Trader Wrecked. Marked him on the map, and we're going to go see him after we see Trader Jen. And then I'm sure we'll have enough time to do some looting down there before we have to head back home and get ready for the horde. Now, I also spotted down there Crackabook and the Good Cemetery. Now, I don't think we're going to have enough time to raid both of those places. And if I have to choose one, I'm going for the cemetery. Because we did find that book that gives us a chance of finding gems when we break apart a casket. Plus, there's usually just better loot at the cemetery anyway. Get out of the way, Kenny. You know, if we go to crack a book, we'll just end up coming out of there with a whole bunch of fucking paper. So that's the plan. Trader Rick, Trader Jen, Trader Wrecked, the cemetery, get the fuck out of the way, dude, and then back home to fight the horde. Watch out, chicken. Don't want to have to accidentally kill you and eat you for dinner. Let's check Rick's vending machine. Ah, sugar butts, eye candy, rock busters, and uh, there's a bird trying to attack us. Come on down here. Oh, two of them. Come on, you pussy. Dead. Ah. Dead. Ah, things are falling out of my pockets here. Let's uh, drop the candy off in the bike. Not gonna need it. I brought the awesome sauce with me this morning. Gives you 20% better bartering. More than the sugar butts. Grab this stuff here. Harvest this other bird. We'll go uh, sell some stuff to Rick. Check his inventory. Damn, look at all this shit. I don't really need the feathers. Let's drop those. We got so many damn feathers at home. What up, Rick? Hold on, let me drink this awesome sauce. As if I can be any more fucking awesome than I already am. And then let me sell you all this shit here. Alright, there was a few things he didn't want. Not a big deal. And I don't know why I brought this concrete with me, but I did. What do you got here, Rick? Gunpowder? 7.62. Rocket frags. Buckshot, bullet casings, 9mm, hold on, how much money do I have? Over 16,000? Okay. I didn't want to accidentally spend too much money. I don't spend all of it, you know, just in case one of these vendors has a crucible. Shotgun shells, gyrocopter for 70,000, good on that, and that's... Pretty much it. All right, Rick. I'll catch you later, buddy. You watch yourself. Now we are headed to Trader Jen's, which is south of here. We can uh, get through these mountains really easily and then pick this road up, and that will take us right down to Jen's. Let's stop here real quick. I brought those glass jars with me, the same ones I had in the last episode that I forgot to fill. There we go. They're filled now. So we don't got to worry about murky water for a little bit. Oh, hey, bird, you must want to die. I can do that for you. There you go. No need to thank me. It's just what I do. What do we have here? A little surprise for me? Isn't this nice? Oh, the body disappeared. There's a loot bag, though. Oh, not bad. Some cash and armor we can sell to Jen. I wonder if that zombie maybe died on the uh, barbed wire. Who knows? Who cares, right? What up, Jen? Got, the best prices in the got a few things to sell you here. Some cash, armor parts, boots, wrench, wrench, stun baton, and uh, that's it. What do you have? Not much, huh? Uh, steel. I need steel. It's expensive, but I'm buying it anyway. I want to use it to upgrade the ladder down in the pit. From iron to steel. Not much else in here. AP 9mm, I'll take it. And I guess that's it. Alright, so Jen. Hey, I'll see on. you later. Now, we are headed to the south 
east here to Trader Wrecked. And I'm just going to take a straight line there. Hopefully we don't run into any problems here like mountains and shit. Look at this bathhouse out here in the middle of nowhere. I can't resist this bird. Fuck off, seriously. Alright, at least we got some rotten flesh there. Let me throw some stuff in the bike. And uh, we'll raid this bathhouse just for fun. You never know. Someone might have uh, taken their crucible to, uh, you know, to bathe or whatever. Anyway, let's just have a little fun here. Wake up, you fuckers. Bath time's over. Oh, that was fun. Where's Big Mama at, though? Oh, she's having a little trouble. Now, maybe you should stay in the bath, Big Mama. You still look a little dirty. There you go. Wash your ass a bit more. Why don't you just stay in there for a while? You deserve the rest and relaxation. There we go. Might as well take this apart. Jar of honey. Nothing there. Drink that bottle of water and let's see if we can crack into this safe. Eh, steel knuckle parts. If we ever get to the point we can craft a level 5 set, those will help. Let's keep heading to the southeast. What? Oh shit, I'm out of gas? Fuck, I didn't bring any with me. Damn it. I meant to gas up before we left. I must have forgot. Oh well. Um, I saw a car back here. I'm going to take that apart for a little bit of gas. And then we're probably going to have to head back to town. I don't want to keep pushing to the southeast. This is not going to be enough gas to get us to Rex, I don't think, anyway. Fifteen percent. I'm not taking that risk. We keep heading to the southeast and get stuck out in the middle of nowhere with no gas. That's going to be a problem. So let's just head right back to town. There's that shotgun messiah HQ. We know there's going to be plenty of cars in the parking lot there. So let's go get some more gas. Eighty-four percent. Now that's better. That'll get us to Rex and back home. Here, let's do the cemetery first, and then we'll go see Wrecked. The Cracker Book is right down the road there, just beyond the Ostrich Hotel. Maybe we'll do the Cracker Book another day. I'm not too concerned about it. Plus, it's one o'clock right now, so I think all we'll have time for is this place, uh, and then we'll go see Wrecked. Then we'll head back home, start getting ready for the horde. All right, we got some graves to dig up. We'll start on this side. Nothing. Just got some wood there. I think it's pretty rare to get anything from the coffins. We'll find out. Like I said, there's plenty of coffins to break apart in this place. Here's another one. Nothing. Just some wood again. Lead and cloth. Let's get this tree out of the way. I can't see shit. Shotgun shells and brass. We woke up a zombie in there, I think. Oh! Or not. Damn it, lady! She must have come in from the street. I thought we woke up zombies in that building. Oh, at least she brought us a bag. Let me take the vitamin now. Well, let's take both of them. Fuck it. Now we really won't get an infection. Okay. Coffee buried in a grave? Sure, I'll drink it. I'm a survivalist. I forgot to break apart this coffin here. Just some wood. Duct tape. We got a nurse over there just hanging out. Just some wood again. Let me drop that plant fiber. We don't need that stuff. Lock picks and gunpowder.
Yeah, so far, this coffin book doesn't really deserve the hype that I've given it in the past. We haven't gotten shit yet. Which I don't expect to get, you know, a diamond in, uh, on every coffin, but... It's like, what's the point of having the book if it's gonna be uh, 1 in 20 or some shit? Just wood there again. Oh, there we go, a piece of silver. Might as well sustain some life in the cemetery, right? Boom. All right, let's keep it moving. So we found a piece of silver in what? About six coffins, maybe? So if we can find another piece in the next three or four coffins that we break up, two out of ten ain't bad. Thirty rounds and nine millimeter. I tell you, there's a lot of ammo in these coffins. People just want to be buried with their ammo. I guess they figure they're gonna get into a gunfight in the afterlife. Look at this. This is just an ammunition box. This guy bought a plot and was like, "I just toss my body in the ocean, bury my ammo in the plot." Nice. Look at this. All right. Uh, I think this is the last one. Then we'll head downstairs. Actually, we gotta check this building out behind me first. Book we already read. Just some wood. Because we got all these already, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. A duffel bag and some zombies. I'm good on that stuff. What do we got up here? A purse. That looks like it. Well, we got some more coffins down here. That 2 out of 10 thing didn't work out, though. We've broken apart more than 10 coffins. And we only got one piece of silver so far. Wood. Wood. You know what? Fuck that book. <laughs> I mean, whatever. Still a good book to find, in my opinion. But nothing to get hyped over. Oh, level 6 AK. That's something to get hyped over, though. Can. We're gonna wake up a zombie doing this. Yep, I knew it. Fuck off. One coin. Poor bastard. He was probably like, bury me with my money. His family was like, fuck you. You're getting one coin. That's it. We're keeping the rest. Ammo. And big boy just falling out of the wall there. Fuck you, Kenny. Oh, what was that bullshit? He didn't even lift his arms up and he got me. That's kind of the one shitty thing about these knuckles. Oh, look at that. See? You gotta get too close to use them. This, they're fun. I'll give them that. And once you get the steel knuckles, and uh, I still haven't maxed out the brawler perk, so I can't really speak on that, but I'm sure it's much better with that perk maxed out. With all that said, would still rather a sledgehammer. Oh, oh. <laughs> calm down, lady. I'm not going anywhere. Oh shit, look at that, the fucking crucible. Wow, when you're not looking for it, right? I mean, we're always looking for it. But I didn't expect to find it here. I came here for the coffins. We didn't get shit from the coffins. We got one piece of silver from all the coffins we broke up. Kill zombie cheerleaders? Sure, I can do that. Hey, another rad remover. Nice, man. Let's uh, remove this from the HUD here. Wow, unexpected find right there. Beautiful. 
Now we can get home, get some steel crafting. We're not going to be able to upgrade our base to steel tonight. We definitely upgrade the rest of the ladder to steel tonight, which will be nice. Uh, and then, like I said, we'll get the steel working in the uh, forge. This way, when we do the repair work to the base after tonight's hoard, we can take it to steel. Now scrap the pistol and the turret for the parts, and let's get the hell out of here. We'll go see Wrecked, check his inventory, and we'll get home, get geared up, get some steel crafting in the forge, and bring on the fifth hoard here in Farmer Glock. Ah, sugar butts and eye candy. I'll take both of those things. And we might as well eat the sugar butt candy now. What the hell? I got like four more pieces back in inventory. What up, Wrecked? What are you looking at? I got a few things I can sell you here. Some gold. Um, machete parts. I guess uh, I'll sell them the spear. What the hell? Sell them the crucible. I'm kidding. The silver. And uh, I guess that's it. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he's got more steel. No, we don't need to buy that. Oh, we got the crucible. We can craft it now. <laughs> That's how good my short-term memory is. I'm like a fucking goldfish. Um, Bullet casings. See what he's got in the stash here. 762. AP 762. Let me look at that Ranger's Guide. Exploding arrows. Okay. I'll take that. Oh, and that's it, Wrecked. Huh? Well, See you again you another away. day. Alright, this ladder is completely steel now. This sledge turret is working, and if we need to, we can hop over here. This turret starts working. Uh, let's see how much of this ladder we can get to steel. Let's do this one first. Oh, that's good. Oh, look at this. Pretty much all of it. I left two pieces of ladder out, obviously, so the zombies don't see that other pit as a way to get to me, but I have two pieces of iron ladder on me. So if we need to use that other pit, um, for one reason or another, all we gotta do is hop over here, pop the hatch open, put the two pieces of ladder in place, and we have uh, another working pit. Now. Some zombies might accidentally fall in that other pit during the horde. Not worried about that. All right, here we go. Let's give them a way up here. Come on in, you fucks. Let's do this shit. Oh shit. Probably should have reloaded. Close that hatch. Uh, we might as well use this hatch over here. That's why I put it in. No, nope. I knew it. Man, she came up the ladder fast. Close that. Uh, water. Okay. I'm gonna throw Molotovs down the hatch. You gotta make sure there are no zombies that are right there because then it'll blow up in my face. Ah, oh, well, that was a shitty throw. Didn't do much. Our only grenade. 
Let's get some more fire down there, though. I do have pipe bombs. Break those out a little later. Well, so far, no bird problems tonight, which is nice because I haven't done anything to uh, help with that problem. I have a couple of ideas in mind. I just, to be honest, forgot to implement any anything that would help protect us against birds. I'll make sure to do that before the next tour. Ah, monkey. I'm surprised more of them haven't jumped up here. I should do something about that. We could literally put walls up here. It wouldn't affect the base in any way, and it would protect against cop puke coming in from the sides as well, and birds from swooping in. Right? I mean, I gotta put a little more thought into it, but I don't think putting walls up would affect this in any way, other than a positive way, meaning protecting us more. You know? It wouldn't hinder us. If we need to get out or get off of the platform, we can put doors in, you know? Or hatches. Well, I mean, it's working out great, just as planned. I still need to implement bird protection. We're getting lucky tonight. No birds are showing up. And we need to put in a wall to protect us from uh, birds, puke, and spider zombies. And then, of course, we need to get this whole pit and the other pit upgraded to steel and close that fucking hatch. Jeez. This AK, man, I'm so used to having a, uh, a drum magazine mod on it, which holds like 50 rounds or some shit. 29 rounds just doesn't cut it. Goes way too fast. Uh, we should probably up, uh, repair this hatch. I do have a little bit of iron on me, so we can do that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, once we get the bird protection in, put, in a, put up a wall and get this pit and the other pit upgraded to steel, we can take this shit pretty damn far, I think. Oh, shit. Close the hatch. All right, it's closed. Let's uh, go back around to this hatch. What? <laughs> the fire must have killed that guy. The other one's dead, too. Or maybe they fell. Oh, trees are getting knocked down. Uh, we just need better guns. <laughs> I mean, we got the level six. Oh, shit. And we need a better me. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking die. 33 hit points. Alright, we gotta put out the fire. Use a bandage. I didn't bring any other first aid. Uh, so that's not good. I totally forgot everything in terms of first aid. Let me see how many hit points this bandage gives us. I do have one more bandage left. I kinda wanna make a run for it. But I don't know, that's risky. That's real risky. I mean, we got over 50 hit points. Let's check this loot bag. No. All right. I'll just play better. How's that? Sticking with the AK, we shouldn't have any more problems. As long as I keep an eye on how many rounds we have left and close this hatch before uh, we run out, or just as we run out, we'll be fine. The pistol just doesn't cut it for this base. It doesn't fire fast enough. And it doesn't do enough damage. The shotgun, same deal. It's, it's uh, you know, side-by-side, -side, double barrel. So, two shots and we got a reload. Not good for this base. I do, I, I do have the ability to craft a pump shotgun. But, I want to put some more points in the boomstick first. And, uh, once I do, I'm not sure if I have enough parts to craft one. Oh, no, you know what it was? I needed steel. That's what I needed for the shotgun. And now we got the crucible. All right, so... Uh, this week, coming up, we'll put at least one more point into Boomstick, and we'll craft ourselves a pump shotgun before the next horde, unless we happen to find one first. Gotta repair this AK. Lost a couple of frames there. Not a big deal. 
Fuck off, Mo. Seriously? Fuck off. Mo, come on. What are you doing? This guy. Oh my god. Such bullshit. <laughs> yeah, hang around, why don't you? Look at this. Headshots to Big Mamo. Couldn't even stop her from coming up the ladder with the pistol. Well, the, the, the sledgehammer turret is not working anymore. Uh, so that's a problem. It's not slowing the zombies down at all. And it's probably a combination of me shooting it and the zombies hitting it. Or just, I think, oh, damn it. Man, trying to set a record tonight for how many times I can set myself on fire. That area is still on fire, so we got to avoid that for a minute. Um, it could be that the turret just, it, it just does, it takes damage over time from use. So it's probably a combination of all three of those things. Me shooting it, the zombies hitting it, and it just takes damage over time from use. So that's another thing we need to fix about this base, or figure out how we can protect the turret better. And we need a way to be able to pick that thing up and repair it from up here. So, that's another thing I gotta think about. Well, the ladder is gone, or at least two pieces, three pieces of it maybe. They can't make it up here anymore. But... I think we're getting down to the end of the horde here. The majority of the zombies are already in the pit, so I don't think it makes sense to try and activate the second pit right now. We might as well just kind of carry on. We got zombies in the other pit. Not a big deal. I figured this would happen. Okay. We need to repair the ladder in the other pit just in case we're down there getting loot bags and some more zombies show up. We need a way out, obviously. So, uh, I've got the two pieces of ladder from the other pit that I never used. And I hear zombies. Let's just do this real fast. One. Two. Bam. Um. Is it in the other pit? Yep. Just one. Alright. That sounds like... It. <laughs> but at least now, if more show up, we can get out of here really quickly. So let's harvest this dog before it despawns. We'll eat some eye candy, grab these loot bags. That kind of sucks right there that a block got destroyed. A bunch of blocks down here got destroyed. But, like I said, as we repair this base this week, we can start upgrading it to steel. Oh, first aid kit. Should probably use that now. And then uh, we may have to run to uh, storage, drop some things off. But, uh, yeah, pretty good night. Oh, level one auger right there. It's only level one, but still. You can make use of that down in the, uh, the underground mine. Uh, all right. We can't scrap anything yet. Let's go drop some stuff off in storage, grab the rest of these loot bags, and that'll be it. So, things we need to work on moving forward. Bird protection, which, like I said earlier, we got lucky tonight. No birds showed up. Uh, a wall around the platform to protect us from puke and uh, spider monkeys and birds as well. And some sort of protection for the uh, sledge turret. And some sort of way for us to be able to pick that thing up and repair it 
without putting ourselves in too much trouble. So those are the things I got to think about moving forward. Um, but we got time. We got five more days to get the repairs done and the upgrades done. And we'll be looking good. But as for now, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me grab some stuff out of here. I'll get all this shit put away and we'll pick things up on the, uh, the morning, mid-morning of day uh, 26. And we'll go from there. I should have left that hatch down all night. I left it up. It took some damage. Not a big deal. So anyway, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and this mini-series I got coming up real soon. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.